Previously on Beer and Board Games. Let's go to the races. And the beers are coming up to the table. In the lead, we have beer, followed closely by beer. Oh, beer and behind that inside. beer, and, and nobody the is with beer. 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 It is gonna get hot up in here. Up in here? Up, up in, in here? here? Well, I'm gonna make you butt my ass. Up in here? Up, up in, in here. here. I'm gonna make you drop your pants. Up in here? Up in here? <laughs> We had a great time betting on the horses and becoming rich horse racing bettors. Now we're going to go hobnob with celebrities in talk show. <laughs> wow. La di da di, we likes to potty. We don't cause trouble. We, we don't, don't bother, bother nobody. nobody. With your wrinkled pussy, you can't be my lover. <laughs> Some beer for Horbe. This is Capital Brewery's Oktoberfest. Mm. It's got the fruit notes in it you'd expect from a fine Oktoberfest. It's got the uh, the oak leaves. <laughs> they uh, they <laughs> they put them in on the know, label. On the label. Yeah. This, this does have a really sort of like earthy, loamy. It tastes more like autumn-y. Feel. More like vegetation than fruit. It's the mother of all seasonal beers. Yeah, good job, Capital. Why don't you, you want a fucking cookie? <laughs> That's so, another reason I wanted to do horse racing first, because I knew the horse racing game, and I didn't know this one. You knew you were going to get plowed before yeah, this Yeah, and I wouldn't have any trance <laughs> of explaining horses. Any trance? No trance. Take a trance, take a trance, take a trance, take a trance, take a trance on me. Take a trance if on me. If it was called take a trance on me, it would just keep going take a trance, take a trance, <laughs> take a trance, 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 take a trance. Jess is stuck. Let's see, he took a trance on me. Scott Anderson would like an impression of Morgan Freeman who is afraid of alien abductions. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I... I pray to you to let me sleep through the night tonight without those dreaded beams of light coming in through my bedroom window and paralyzing me. This sounds like a Maya Angelou poem. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I have to go to bed now. I I sure do hope that nothing... Oh, shit. Oh, clench, Morgan. Clench your buttocks tight. Hold it like a fist, like a baby holds a piece of tissue paper. You're not getting into my asshole tonight, alien. Oh, you try. Try to get inside of my ass. It ain't gonna happen. Good, goodbye. Morgan Freeman won. Aliens, nothing. <laughs> this clearly was not his first attempt at abduction, because he was very calm throughout the whole thing. <laughs> Just clench it. It'll pass. How many times does this need shall pass. to probe Morgan Freeman? <laughs> 112 times. That's the number you need to hit for any survey. Any anal survey. I gotta go in for an anal survey next month with my doctor. It's my 112th time. Yeah. If they schedule 113th, you know it's recreational. <laughs> Talk show is actually really simple. It's sort of like a uh, bluffing game. Everybody gets one of those microphone markers. It says A on one side, it says B on the other. And so like, I draw a card and I pick one of these three questions. I hand this and the card to whoever the celebrity is and then he hands it back to me after he's written down his answer. And then I write down my own fake answer to, to the question. And then the audience votes on which one they think the celebrity in question actually wrote. And we're going to be getting some of these celebrities from our live audience. We should read them as best as we can, both answers, as that celebrity. Question number three for Morgan Freeman was, what stupid human trick can you do with your body? Answer A is, well, I believe I can make my bosoms move to and fro. Answer B was, I can make my anus clench extremely tight. <laughs> okay. So then on the count of three, you'd reveal A, bosoms, or B, anus. So one, two, three. A. A. The correct answer is B. I can make my anus clench extremely tight. I fooled you both. So Matt gets two papes. Ah, Papa Two Chip got the two papes. So now we're going to Brando. <coughs> you just not, woke up, you were in little, bed. <laughs> that's not Brando, that's another guy. <laughs> Come on, Brando, wake up. <laughs> Describe evil. A hell spa where everything is normal, nothing is fucked up, and the trainer is my ghost. <laughs> 
I once saw a snail crawl across the edge of a straight razor. One, two, three. A was written by Brando. Yay! There you go. All right, Captain Kirk. What song do you sing in the shower? Lucy in the sky with diamonds. B, raindrops keep falling on my head. Three, two, one. A. B. The correct answer was A. Yes. Oh, I'm stacking papes, <laughs> one on top of the other. One on top of your mother, one on top of your brother. The celebrity is King Candy. Briefly describe your very first date. <laughs> King Candy's first date. I captured a young man and put him in lollipop jail. We loved it. <laughs> That's the scariest King Candy. Answer B. I gave a boy some candy with no pants on. Three, <laughs> two, one. A. Hey. That is the correct answer. Uh, yay! Yay! Got tapes. Matthew Campen would like to toast legendary gaming journalist Ryan Davis, who passed away July 3rd of this year at the age of 34. Oh, that's too young. Really young. Too really young. young. According to his friends and coworkers at Giant Bomb, he was a man who could genuinely enjoy dumb things and articulate what was great about them. His favorite drink was bourbon with a single piece of ice. Uh, excellent choice. Here's to Ryan Davis. Uh, we're sorry to see him go. Yeah. Ryan far Davis. Too young. Here, here. Ryan Here's to him. Davis. All right then. Oh. <laughs> Danny boy, <laughs> the papes, to the, the papes are so calling. Sometimes when we touch, the honesty is too much. Dr. And, Phil. And I close my eyes. <laughs> you gotta ask yourself if you're ready to be healed. Let's check the envelope and see who is the baby's daddy. <laughs> uh... Revolver, oh, bullet, <laughs> close, spin, click, another day, money, pillowcase, uh, sleep. Uh. The question is, which natural force frightens you the most and why? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the force of a Slim Jim NATO. And B? Going to use thunder. Two. One, there you go. two, three. A. B. Correct answer was B. I've got 13 papes. I got 10 papes. I want to race horses. I hate impressions. <laughs> if I could shoplift beef jerky twice a year and get a pound of it each time, I'd do it. Didn't I? I did. Wait. Did you do a Nuno Betancourt impression? <laughs> Arizona Johnson wants us to insult him Monty Python style. Arizona Johnson, you're not quite dead. Know what I mean? He's passed on. He's passed on. Hey, know what I mean, Bruce? Gonna, know what I mean, nudge, Bruce? Nudge. Hey, hey. Not the same but, uh, as a wig to a blind bat, eh? Hey. Hey. The award goes to the Arizona Johnson with the biggest tits. <laughs> I have an idea how to make this game really fun. It's pretty fun right now. We're only gonna do like one more round because it's round six. Oh. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Kai Boshin. Kai Boshin, you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Kai Boshin, you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Kai Boshin, you. I would never Kai Bosh you. Alan Rickman is the next. Uh, guest on the truck show. What is the biggest risk you have taken? A. I slowly spoke to a policeman. <laughs> and B. I think I may have been in a home alone sequel. A. B. 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 Yeah. Oh. There's one for me, one for me. One for me. I'm better at horse racing. You still only have three? <laughs> I've had three for the entire game. <laughs> I've never gotten one right since the first round. Crispin Glover, if you became invisible, what would you do? I think if I became invisible, no one could see me, and I would just walk around near everyone. You're my density. 
Did I said I would not do it well. I said uh, I say it's A. <laughs> Alright, the next question is, what is the grossest thing you've ever held? Well, uh, when you get to be a certain age, your scrotum becomes the grossest thing you'll ever hold! Uh, it's like a bag made out of elbow flesh. Alright, Clint Eastwood, how do you enjoy celebrating? By waking up not dead with a gun in both hands. <laughs> Do I have to do Jimmy Stewart? Jimmy Stewart, do it! What would you like to discover, Jimmy Stewart? Uh, let's see. What, what, what? You start off oh, like yeah. that. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> I'd like to discover... Go, go, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I think, I think hey! Oh, wow! Hey! Whoa, whoa. I, 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 whoa, whoa. I think I'd like to discover... Hey. Uh, whoa, whoa, the, the okay. thing! Whoa, 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 the, the, the thing! thing. Hey. You, 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 you have, have to you, understand! You, you sort of... You, you oh, sort of... Oh, 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 what word? Say, say, I mean, say here. Look here now. Look here now. Look here now. It's a wonderful life. No, you're hopeless. Folks, we had a good time tonight. We played Let's Go to the Races. We bet on the ponies. Some of us lost our shirts. Others of us gained many shirts. And then we played Talk Show. P p celebrity... I almost said that wrong. Where we did celebrity impersonations. We hope that you had a good time. And we hope that you will continue enjoying yourselves well into the night and then fall into a deep sleep. Good night. A ding ding ding. <laughs>